So I used to have pretty strong eccentric one arm chins to be able to hold that lock off position and then lower down with control all the way down to a passive hang. I used to be able to do that with control on both sides. Now I got my one arm chin once on my left arm. It was crappy technique and it was about four years ago. Since then I've really concentrated more on the push in and haven't done as much pulling work. But I've always thought that I could still do that eccentric one arm chin. Now yesterday I wanted to refresh some one arm chin progression videos that I made in the past for clients. Uh, and I went to do that eccentric one arm chin and I couldn't do it. Uh, I just dropped through the movement. So today I'm gonna use an assessment tool to assess where I am with the one arm chin using a pulley and then get myself back on track to get at least the eccentric one arm chin back again. I'm gonna use a pulley. So pulley means no friction or very little fr friction. You can do the same assessment using the strap. You basically just put the strap over the ring and then you tie a weight to the other side. The trouble is with the strap is it does cause a lot of friction and is inconsistent depending on which ring you use, how much chalk is on the ring and the type of strap where something like a pulley is going to give you more consistency and be more accurate in terms of how much counterweight you need to help you. So pretty simple setup. I'm just going to clip this part onto the ring that I'm not using and I've got a loop through that end. So this is probably the easiest way to set the dumbbell up. You could use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a weight plate. So that's giving me 10 kilos of assistance now. Now, if the dumbbell stays on the floor, I'm using less than 10 kilos. So if I do the one arm chin up and it stays like that, it's less than 10 kilos. If it goes like that, still less than 10 kilos. But if I lift it fully, I'm using the full 10 kilo assistance to help me with the one arm chin. Now, if I'm using the strap technique, that's going to be more than 10 kilos because you've got that friction as well. So pulley is very low friction, so it's going to be closer to the actual weight. So I'm going to start with something pretty heavy. So let's go with 12 and a half. So now I have 12.5 kilos of counterbalance or counterweight. And I'm going to pull from a passive hang position and at least get my chin over the ring with the aim of trying to get my chest to touch my hand. So left side was okay. Now my left side is stronger than my right side with the pull in. So I'm gonna do quite big jumps. So I'm gonna jump down to the eight kilos now, see where I'm at with that. Nope. If I can't do it on the left, I don't think I'm gonna get it on the right. No, nothing. So let's try somewhere in the middle, so 10 kilos. Okay, 10, I can just get on that left side. It's not pretty, and I don't get quite high enough. The chin goes over, but ideally I want to pull all the way to the chest touches the hand. No, I can't get it on the right hand side. So 12 and a half is needed for the right, 10 kilos for the left. Now normally if I'm training a client towards a one arm chin, I'll use the archer progressions. Now there's three main progressions towards the archer chin up. So you'd start with a normal pull up. So chest to the rings, and then you extend out. I'm trying to keep this hand against the chest here. So this is the lock off position. I'll extend the arm all the way out until it's straight. Hold for a couple of seconds, come back again, swap sides, go on the other side back and then back down to the start position. Once you can do that one okay, you pull up to this position again, you extend the arm until it's straight, you hold, and then you lower all the way down, keeping the right arm straight. You do another pull up, extend the left arm, and then slowly lower, keeping the left arm straight. And then what's seen as a full archer is from the hanging position, you do a pull up, keeping one arm straight, pulling towards this left hand, all the way back down, then the same on the opposite side, all the way back down. So the arm stays straight for the whole range of motion. And then from there I'd work towards using the pulley and or the eccentric. But I'm personally gonna test something a little bit different. I'm gonna be the guinea pig here because I have had these progressions in the past, okay? I'm gonna try and bring them back with the minimal amount of work because I still wanna maintain all my pushing strength and that's my main focus at the moment is still working on those planches and those handstand push-ups and the presses and the handstands. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in two to three times per week, I'm gonna do that pulley. I'm gonna do about three to five repetitions on each side and that's it. My goal is to get to like a four or five kilo dumbbell as quick as possible. 
Now I recommend everyone just assesses themselves using the dumbbell and just see where you're at. If you're using something above a 15 kilo dumbbell, I wouldn't use that as your main exercise. But if you do try it, stick it down in the comments because it'll be really interesting to know what weight you use and then also what training you've done towards it in the past. Are you already strong? Are you a climber? Have you done one arm chin progressions before and how much weight do you need to use? To counterbalance you, just make sure you let me know whether it's a pulley or the strap as well because that does make a difference. Speak to you next time. Thanks guys.